Good afternoon from another yet again gloomy day. It seems like every time we start filming these videos, it's uh, an overcast or rainy day. Like we should be uh, living like in Seattle or something like that, like in Twilight Land. But today we are at NC State University's College of Veterinary Medicine for their annual uh, open house. So we're going to check it out. Uh, it's a little more people than we thought were going to be here today. We actually had to go across the street to the fairgrounds and take a bus to get here because there is no parking anywhere. And when you think there is parking, it's for students and volunteers that are close up. So if you are parking, you're parking far away. Oh my goodness. So we're going to go into here. And oh, I do got to say two words go pack. It's over here, bud. So we have never been to this before, so you don't know what to expect or where to even go. All right, so like I said, I have no idea where to go, so we will just go this way. I'm just following people right now. I, yeah. I have no idea where we're going. Looks like there's stuff down here. Yeah, there's there's a sign I think for something. So we'll probably make our something. way down there. So we're gonna head downstairs now. Looks like there's more going on down here. Yeah, draft bones here. Yeah, it's okay. All right, so uh, Elephant house. All these skeleton displays they have here. That's a bulldog. Oh boy. Let's see, here we have a dog. Over here, some birds. This one's cool. It's like a, a hawk with a little mouse in its beak. This must be like a cat. That's waffles. It's not a cat, is it? Looks like a cat. This is a rabbit. I really think a rabbit would have a skull like that. But it says rabbit. Oh, this one's cool. This is like so heavy metal there, like Judas Priest album. The 
the skunk. So we're seeing a lot of bones here. Here's a lion here. Just looks like waffles. <laughs> we got a little human here. Look how tiny of monkeys. You did. Congratulations. So, uh, That says miniature horse, but I don't think these are mini horse heads. They look too, too big. Yep. But a lot of this is real. We're getting these specimens from our different zoo animals. See, that's an elephant skull. You can see how big it is compared to her right here. Now that is gross. I would assume this is intestines or something of some big animal. And over here we have cat anatomy facts. So there's a little cat. Jen's gonna take some pictures of the facts. They have it like licking itself. And what, what's super cool, look at this. The wall of skulls. Let's check out the teddy bear clinic. Here's the steps for the teddy bear clinic. If you did not bring a teddy bear, go pick out one. One out. I don't have my glasses on today. Wait in line for your teddy bear surgery. Take your teddy bear home and enjoy the rest of the open house. So let's see. I think this is more for kids. I can see if they're operating on a teddy bear. That looks like a little elephant. We got a pink fish here. And it looks like we got an albino placostomus here. He's saying hi to Jen now. So Jen and I have come to the conclusion that this place is just overwhelming. I had no idea uh -oh. that the vet school over here was this huge. It's like they have this area here, but then right beyond over here, they have their own library over there. I might go outside for a little bit and check out. It's kind of warm in here. Shirts over here. I'm sorry. If you have a little cat one. I like that one. All you need is love and a cat. 
That's right. So outside, I think we're over here, and you get all the like safe haven for cats and saving grace, the triangle beagle rescue are all down here. I wonder if waffles would like like a, a whippet. Or a greyhound. Or a greyhound. Like that little guy over there. She might get jealous though. Look at me taller than she is. And you got some Hello. little puppies over here. How are you? I told her how Hi. This one's cute, little black and white one here. Hi. Oh. <laughs> They're little love bugs. All right, so people are coming from this direction, so we're going to go check out what's over here. I think this is where the food trucks are, so we might grab some lunch. Since Jen's new new thing is bulgogi. I think that's what it was called. It's good. A bulgogi bowl. Or tacos. We got dog and cat companions for life. I don't know what Waffles would say about that. Tia might like a dog. I don't think Waffles would. Oh, you definitely want to catch it. Oh, oh, he eats uh, ram for breakfast. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> How about this this one over here? What about that one? That one belonged to my 30 year old daughter at one time. <laughs> This is where they could do the surgeries. That's not a real dog in there. That's that's stuffed animal. Yeah, so this is where we set up for all of our like surgeries and stuff. All right. So like we'll do all the prep work out there, like putting them under sedation, putting them under anesthesia, and then we like shave them, prep them, like get them all sterile, bring them back here, and then this is where the magic happens and where we do our spay and neuters and stuff like that. So all right. cool. Yeah. cool. It's set up a little different than how we normally have it, just because we have like this huge path and like doors wide open. Yeah. So sure what what it looks like. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks for checking us out. Now we're out of the mobile surgery clinic. We have over here, you can come pet some cows. There's a line to pet the cow, so we don't need to pet a cow, but they have them out here. Cows eating over here. And now we're heading into... This looks like probably where they built cows or something. <laughs> it smells like cows in here. Oh, there's like little piglets. Little here. <laughs> I got some of Jen's favorite little goats. Look at this little guy back here. <laughs> He's just chilling out. So, like, if I didn't say this before, which I think I did, this place is, like, huge. I don't even know where we are now. We're just now wandering a hallway. But there's people here, so I'm assuming we can wander in this hallway. Yeah. And vice versa, where they're, like, you should. I didn't even know. Looks like it, uh x-ray machine or MRIs for animals. And what would be a video without talking about poop? So here, what's hiding in animal poop? So let's go see what this is all about. 
So this will be like digging through poop. So when the vet has to find out the dog or cat ate something. I think I found something in the poop. All right. So it looks like Waffles ate a little mini duck. Uh-oh. And you get to take it home with you. Oh, I get to take home the, the poop duck. Yeah, poop duck. So I dug through poop, which was not poop. She said it was pretty much just like a bath bomb. But that's what you just saw was what they would have to do over here if you know, a dog ate something or a cat and they wanted to see what was in there. Like I said, so I got this little mini duck and they said I could take it home. So it's a nice little experience. My but little poop sure duck. Make sure Waffles doesn't eat it. Yeah, now we got to make sure our girls don't eat it. Or they won't be. <laughs> well, this place never ends. We're, we go down that hallway. We go down to this hallway. Or we could go out that way. Oh, so many options. All right, so made a left turn over there, right turn back before that, went straight, went through a couple doors, and looks like we're back where we started from. And we did not find the food trucks. I wonder if I brought in my pet whale, would they be able to operate on it or fix it? Because you have a whale bones here. So it's good, I know, if we could bring in our pet whale. So we've been wandering around, looking at all this stuff for about an hour, you know, like I mentioned. Kind of overwhelming with everything. We might just go ahead and, and call it a day. We didn't find the food trucks. I have no idea where they are. As you can see, it's a, a happening event out here. Um, we'll plan better next year and come back. We just missed our bus. So we'll go back over here and wait for the next bus to come. But that was a little bit of a tour of the NC State University's uh, College of Veterinary Medicine. It is a huge place. And uh, we'll probably come back again next year with uh, a better plan.